How's it going, guys? In the last video, we talked about the short trading period skill called stochastic relative strength. Now, for today's video, we will talk about the moving average convergence and divergence (MACD), which is commonly used in stock exchange. From now on, I will provide more concrete contents about real-time trading for you, since it is more related to hot topics. So, subscribe to our KuCoin YouTube channel and smash that bell button to follow our future updates. Let's first take a look at today's table of content. We will discuss three topics in this video. Firstly, I will bring you a brief definition of MSCD. Then, we will understand this new term by using our KuCoin trading system. Lastly, I will provide you with trading skills with some classic trading examples. Let's find out. So, what is moving averages? Convergence, divergence. As the name suggests, MACD consists of two indicators, trend indicator and moment indicator. In this way, we can learn more information from MACD regarding trading and moment. As we mentioned before, we can use the crossover as a tool from trading indicators such as moving average and data standards from moment indicators such as relative strength index. So physically, you can discover both of them in MACD. However, MACD indicates these new terms in three ways. MACD line, signal line, and histogram. In technicalysis, we don't need to figure out the meaning of these new terms, but need to know how to use them, which we will discuss in the next slide. Voila! Let's read MACD in KuCoin trading system. Firstly, we will find this indicator on the trading button. Then, you have to click this button and edit the format of this new indicator to have a clear MACD chart. Normally, you will find two lines moving up and down with a bar chart around the number zero. The line that moves faster is signal line and the other is MACD line. The bar chart is histogram. In general, MACD line and the signal line are a pair of trading indicators. Then, the histogram is the moment indicator with an important data, zero. So, how to use MACD to get the both information from trading and moment? To make you guys more easily understand this indicator, I will discuss MACD in different market trends. Firstly, if the market trend is bullish, you'll find that both the slow line and fast line moves above the zero and the fast line will go through the slow line from bottom to top one after another. In addition, if the market trend is bearish, you'll find that both the slow line and fast line go below the data zero and the fast line will go across the slow line from top to bottom in succession. Then, how about the reversion of market trends? In this condition, we will talk about some trading classic examples. If the market trend is bearish but you discover that the histogram is not deteriorating, that indicates that the calling party is accumulating. In contrast, if the prices is in high position and you will find that the histogram is contracting, this is the hand to draw. With this skill, let's try to analyze the price movement of a trading pair of Bitcoin versus USDT. From this chart with daily trading period, you'll find that the Bitcoin's price is about 47,665, but its histogram is contracting. This is the hand to draw. So you have to show the profits to save investment. Also, let's see the quotation in this week in Bitcoin Cash versus USDT with the four-hour trading period. You'll find that even though the price is decreasing, but its hit gram below zero is contracting. It is the hand to call. Now, before we end this video, let's quickly make a recap. 
We have discovered three topics in today's video. Firstly, we know what MACD is, consisting MACD line, signal line, and histogram. Then we read it in KuCoin Trading System and reviewed some trading pair such as Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. That is all for today's video. From now on, we will learn more concrete skills by applying them to KuCoin Trading Interface to resolve your confusion about trading. Happy learning and happy trading with KuCoin!